previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Take your seat, throw your troubles away. Been waiting for this time for so many days. Grab a snack, kick back and relax. It's finally time for Amnesia Plays. Hi, everyone all. And welcome to another episode of Amnesia Plays The Walking Dead. And I'm your host, as always, Amnizu. Three months later, apparently. Who are you? Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Well, that's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Well, I don't think we have enough. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Uh, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Larry's just... Uh, looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. <laughs> That's true. That's true. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Ah! 
Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. I wonder what's going on. So yeah, I've been after quite this episode so far, but I don't want to interrupt the move sequences by talking too much. Oh, there you go. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bit? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry! Oh, man. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. We have to cut oh, no. his leg. I got an axe. Shit, walkers! I'm gonna cut it. Never leave. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Is he, is he gonna make it? Just get me out, please! Lee, do something. something! We're gonna be surrounded so anyway! Please. Please. please, hurry get up! Cut the leg, cut the leg. I'm sorry, man. I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Let's go, let's go! Sorry, man. <laughs> oh, come on, Lee. So close, so close. Damn it, Lee, just cut off his fucking leg. We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go now. Where should I go? Ah. Ah. Oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. A little bit of run. I don't think I could ch cut the chain. Sorry, man. You have to run. Man. Behind you, Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move. I don't know, poor kid. Well, we're still there. More hell, apparently. In episode 2, Start for Help. So it could be so quiet, but I'm trying to take in what's going on over here. Oh, Clementine. Shush it. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! Oh my god! 
What happened? Oh, what's going Ace, on? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick exactly. together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, yeah, okay? exactly. Yes, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Ten I don't see for any sure. of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. Nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I only have four, four. I have four food items and ten hungry people. Oh, man. Jesus, man. Okay, Clementine for sure. I'll give Clementine, let's see here, we got some snacks, an apple, some beef jerk. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? No. Okay. I want to talk to her. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine... I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I hope he will. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Well, you'll get to eat today. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Um, you look 
look like uh, you'd like some oh man I don't know if you like jerky, apple, crackers and cheese. What do you like jerky? I hope. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. No, I don't want to ask her what I should do. Okay. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well. If you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. She get one back. Back in a bit. Sorry, Carly, but yes, hold on for a little bit. Let's talk with this kid. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. Um, I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. You hold on, Relax. kid. Okay. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Well, Duck might get some food. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Yeah, that's good, I guess. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Okay, you're not getting any food, but you might. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kaja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. The only one I, the only one I see need to go is you. Here, mm -hmm. eat something. I'll give you some crackers. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Nope. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Well, you're cranky all the time, huh? Oh, Cat Jay's working with it, man. I don't know if... I want to talk to Kenny. I'm gonna go talk to Kenny. Let's talk to... Oh, I 
almost forgot her name. Maybe we should Italy. think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected. We're close to the drugstore. We have a routine now, and it's working. We don't have any food. Yeah. Keep an eye out. Fine. Let's talk to Kenny. I want to feed Carly as well. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Thanks, man. Uh, I think leaving is a good idea, actually. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna feed. Well, I gotta feed the kids, you know. Oh, I wanna feed Crawley as well. Okay, duck, you you'll get some food. Hey, duck, how about a little food? <laughs> oh, that smile. Uh, you'll get uh, crackers and cheese. Here. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. It's only on half left. Well, it's not for me. It's for someone else. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yes. And I think Carl is gonna be the one to get it. Yeah. Here you go, Carly. Want something to eat? Have an apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. <laughs> Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. Nope. That's a strange view. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, I'm Kenny. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! Mm. What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Man. Ken, Lee, come here, please. What's up now? He didn't make it, did he? Hmm. He lost too much blood. Man. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. Yeah. That yeah. man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Mm, I know. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. No. What about the other kid? Oh! Jesus, man. Ooh. Give me the axe, give me the axe. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Okay, we can do this. It works. Damn it, man. Kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him. Kick him, kick him, kick him. Kick him. Just kick him. Damn it, man. Oh, sh. Oh, kill, 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 kill. Shoot it! Shoot, 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 shoot it. Man. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. 
Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. For protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Hmm... You know what, guys? I gotta make a decision in the next episode, just to keep you waiting for it. Yeah! So, thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, or a comment, or subscribe if you don't... <laughs> if you're not subscribed already, but feel like subscribing. Once again, thank you all for watching. Have a great time. So, until next time, I'm Nizu, signing out.